the Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of the sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Invite the children to come up. Jesus, at one point, he took three of the disciples up on a mountain. Didn't take them all, but he took three of them up on the mountain. Okay? And he took them up there, and it says that all of a sudden, what happened? Do you remember what happened, what he was just talking about? Did he fall over? No, something happened to him. It says that he got transformed. Do you know what that word means, transformed? Do you know that... You know what transformers are, you know, those toys that you guys have, right? That means they change from one thing to another. So they might be a truck and then it changes into a, a robot or something, you know, right? The word trance means changed. So it says he changed or trance changed his form. That's who he was. And all of a sudden his clothes became white. <laughs> and it says it was so white that, they, that nobody could bleach clothes that white. Isn't that what it said? He can't even bleach clothes that white. So uh, in my thinking, I'm saying, well, what could be brighter than the whitest white? It would have to almost be light, wouldn't it? Yeah. So this was just kind of like this, uh, God was saying, through my son, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you a little bit of who Jesus really is. Because wasn't Jesus the light of the world the way the truth and the life he wasn't just a way a truth or a life he was the way the truth and the life and he was also the light of man uh, john the baptist when he came that's what his message was the kingdom of god is coming and jesus is the light of men he was the light of men so that's what happened on the mount of uh, on the uh, Mount of Transfiguration. And now why do you think that uh, Jesus, it was important for Jesus to do this to the three disciples? Was that to discourage them or to encourage them? Yeah, because wasn't he always saying the kingdom is among you, the kingdom is here? That was his message. The kingdom of God is at hand. Believe, believe in me. And so this, I think it was really encouraging to the three disciples that he was trying to tell them, this is what we have to look forward to. This is the hope. I go to prepare a home for you. And where I go, I will come back and bring you, get you and take you back. This is so encouraging to the disciples because you know what? I think it, this was about six months before he goes to the cross. He goes up and encourages them because soon he realizes Jesus knows that he's going to be gone. And so this is a great encouragement to them. Okay, so I'll pray and then you guys pray back. Okay, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the message, Thank you for the message. Of, the of the transfiguration, which gives us hope, gives us hope. For, the for the future. In the name of Christ, of Christ. Amen. amen. Well, thanks for coming up, you guys. Got a little something here. If you want one of those, you can have that.
Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It's good to be with you again. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you in body and soul to life everlasting. Depart in peace. Amen. Amen. Bible study 
uh, Martha Tegler. Have a wonderful week, birthday week. Uh, we wish you all the best. God's blessings to you. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Have a good week, guys.